Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. Uh, I don't know if you go back into my haul playlist, there's a haul from uh, Harbor Freight Company and of course any of your hardware stores and painting sections would have drop cloths, but um, let me show you the one. Got I've got it all unraveled right now because I've been making journals with it, but um, it, I got absolute boatload on a roll here for a uh, folded up giant drop cloth and it's got the nice finished edges and it's really perfect material for painting on and for journal covers and embellishments. And so uh, check out your hardware stores, check out um, Harbor Freight specifically I think has a really great price on a really good quality canvas. and. Um, yeah, it's perfect for, for uh, painting on. And I wanted to just throw that out there for you. Um, I will show you an example. I am working on an Alice in Wonderland journal, so I'm in the middle of it here. I've got it open because it's ready for holes. But um, here's an example. I made a journal cover out of this. I cut it. It's Traveler's Notebook size. And I, uh, maybe I can undo one of these here on the side. Um, and I sewed some paper onto the inside and um, you can see I stenciled on there slightly because I kind of have a piece that goes on the front here for the cover but um, that's one application of using it it's uh, super affordable um, and sturdy and yet not too thick and bulky if you know what I mean I had some little odds and ends so I got to making some embellishments so let me go ahead and show you some ideas one is obviously um, here I had a piece with the salvage edge that's finished and I had a, these are all Maggie Holmes I think because that's what I had out um, and you just simply glue I like to use when I'm using any sort of textile or ribbon I like to use fabric tack by Beacon it's very very strong almost like a hot glue type of idea without the plugging in you could use hot glue um, but any strong adhesive that's going to adhere to fabric and I've got <laughs> um, so anyway, so that's one idea. Um, here's another idea. I sewed this one on. Look there. It's almost like a little rug. You have to remember canvas is a woven fabric, so that it will unweave, right? This is all uh, woven in there. So you can pull uh, a little, you know, if you go like this, you can pull a row off on uh, one direction. Um, so you can use that to your advantage. You can make little um, fringy um, little embellishments there. And as in the words of the <laughs> die cut, so cute. Um, another thing to do is making a tag. So I cut a tag shape out and I used my eyelet setter to go ahead and set an eyelet in there. I did go ahead and put a little bit of that fabric tack on there because if this were to, you could also sew around the top of here. I didn't. I just sewed the uh, paper on. I distressed the edges and then zigzagged it on. But in retrospect, I probably should have done a straight stitch around here because this will fray. But in light of that, because um, then if it frays so far, you're going to lose your eyelet. Um, so you can just put some fray check or some glue in there and that should stop that. I just put some. You can't really see it, but you can feel it's kind of uh, gluey there. So that keeps it from fraying. Uh, but again, you could straight stitch as well around the hole also. Um, but anyway, you can make tags with this and you can go ahead and paint on the back. It is well, it receives uh, paint well. I've got a piece here that I used my recollections, sort of been like gelato type of deals. Um, let's see if I've got a scrappy do here. Um, if you just have some water and let's see, we'll use pink. Um, let me put something under here because I'm such a clod. Apply it directly on like that and sort of lightly color that and then you could um, spray that and move it around with your finger okay or if you don't want to use your finger something else okay so you can get stuff that way or conversely you can put it on a mat sheet like this give it a spray and then go like that that's probably more of a softer look um, if you had a whole bunch of these let's just try this out why not right <laughs> that's what makes art fun just kind of dive in and do something I'm just putting random colors here okay hydrate that 
that a little bit and then you can kind of swoop through there and then you get this sort of thing there okay so if you had a big sheet this would make more sense doing this application if you had a big piece kind of like what you do with paper and then you can color it that way so there are different ways uh, that you can color that but you get so much of it and even your scraps you really get your money's worth on that drop cloth and I don't know I just like I said bought mine at Harbor Freight so I don't know the prices on the other stores but I can't imagine they're all that terrible but um, anyway so this is just a colored piece and then I just picked out colors that were similar to my die cut and I went ahead and stapled on there and fringed it just slightly and that just gives such I don't know there's I don't know if it's just I know there are other people like me but there's something about texture on a project that is really nice when you have paper and then versus this sort of organic -y element there which is really fun um, another thing you could do with your spray inks like your dilutions or ranger uh, distress spray inks you could take your piece beforehand put it in a box or whatever that's what I do um, and uh, spray and get some different uh, drippies and things you probably won't pick up on the camera maybe you can see that a little bit there um, but uh, and then you get some beautiful uh, coloring there like with the journal beforehand if you wanted to spray that and then make your journal you know that would add some wonderful color and uh, it's such a natural color you can do all sorts of things you can use texture paste on here with stencils of course you saw that I stenciled on that journal so you can do that um, tons of things you can do with this so just a little DIY there uh, that is super short video but I just wanted to pop on and just in case you haven't thought of it think outside the box that uh, gives you something to think about using your die cuts in a different way attach them to um, fabric you could use um, printed fabric as well and of course it would have the same effect and just adds beautiful elements to your projects and it's so nice to be able to alter things and do things the way we like and let our creativity flow all right guys have a great day thanks so much